Good morning, beach friends. Well, I know it's not technically morning right now, but we are gonna start really early because we have a four hour kayak tour that we're taking out of Caxambas Park down in Marco Island. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna find a bunch of shells. It is going to be absolutely beautiful. So I'm ready to share a really fun morning with you guys. And if you're ready, let's go to the beach. So I had booked a tour with SWFL Shell Guide and the tour leaves from Cactambus Park, which we actually, I've left from this place before. There was another time I went out of here to go explore some of the 10,000 islands and that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be heading over to a sandbar and it is just absolutely lovely. Now SWFL Shell Guide does provide paddle kayaks so it's a lot easier getting over there. And she also provides a waterproof phone case and a shell bag. So those are a couple things you don't have to worry about bringing if you happen to book and go on one of her tours and check out all these dolphin. Look out in the water there. There's a whole pod of them. We usually see them when you're out in the boats, but it's so thrilling when you're in the kayak and they're right there. And so we landed at this little sandbar and it is just beautiful beautiful so we parked our kayaks and we're going to kind of walk over here the tide will be coming in so it's out at this point and i do what i always do and i head straight for the water hoping to find some goodies there and we are definitely going to have a fun morning so i will put any fears aside we do find some pretty fun stuff looks like we'll start off with a florida fighting conch all right, pretty cool. I want to be a little careful, not collect too many of those too early because they're so heavy. <laughs> and here we have a, a lettered olive. Yay. And a sand dollar. Now that's something I had kind of forgotten. Every time I come to Marco, I find sand dollars. So once again, I'm hoping I'll be pretty lucky in the sand dollar department. Okay, cool. Here's another one. Fantastic, completely safe to take home. That is not a critter, that is just the test or the skeleton of the critter. All right, we already picked up two that are kind of okay. We'll leave that for somebody else. It looks like I found another one. It's always fun to kind of see what kind of condition is it in. That one's looking pretty good. And yet another, oh, yeah, we're not gonna take that one. We're looking for the whole ones. All right, that's kind of cool. So here we have a calico scallop complete with a matching barnacle. Kind of fun. So this is where we are. We're off of the mainland and out on sandbars. All right, let's just take a second. Let's take a look and what I mean. Where am I exactly? So here is the marina that we stopped at, or this is where we launched from. And then we paddled out here around that sandbar. So these sandbars come and go. And even depending on storms, you're never really guaranteed what's gonna be there. Obviously at the time that this photo was taken, it looks like it was probably high tide because you're not really seeing much of the sandbars. But if you saw in that other shot I showed you, there really is a lot of land in this location. So that's where we were. I'm kind of walking around in the water at this point seeing what kind of goodies I can find. And of course, I was hoping that that was an albino Florida fighting conch, but it's just a beat up one. Oh well, never hurts to check it out though. Another sand dollar. And those are a five hole keyhole sand dollar. See those things in the back? I've I found other sand dollars with that stuff on it. I don't know what it is. And I don't try to pick it off because I'm afraid I'll break the actual sand dollar. So when those sand dollars have those things, I just kind of leave it. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, here is another big, beautiful, clean, gorgeous, five hole keyhole sand dollar. Awesome. And what do we got here? All right, I, I don't know what I thought this was, but this is 
sea pork, sea liver, some sort of tunicate, and they a little squishy, a little rubbery little thing. And another Florida fighting conch, because I just love them. That one is particularly orange and a little bit spiky, and I'm not gonna worry so much about that beach stuff. I can get that off. Yeah, all right, some sort of surf clam. Looks like we have ourselves a little bit of a pile here. And very, I'm gently doing this just in case there's any sharp shells in there. I would prefer not to cut myself, so gently kind of move things around. All right, looks like a fantastic day for Florida fighting conchs. And another, ooh, nice and spiky. And again, I'm not too concerned about that kind of that green color on it. Usually 100% bleach will take that right off. Okay, it was sort of buried. And another. Ooh, all right, he's got some kind of cool patterns on there. I do so love those Florida finding cons. Okay, there's a Sunray Venus clam. So, you know, most of the common stuff is here. Speaking of common, all right, your prickly cockle. And a calico scallop. So a lot of the stuff we typically find up north. Where I'm about an hour south. That's another Sunray Venus. About an hour south of Fort Myers. So pretty much seeing the same cast of characters that we see up where we normally are shelling. Hoping to find some more, some little more exciting stuff. <gasps> Ooh, that's a lettered olive. Big, dark, beautiful lettered olive. I see something orange. Okay. Ooh, there is another nice, spiky, bright orange Florida fighting conch. Very cool. I'm, I'm kind of bummed that I'm finding them early because they're heavy, but that's okay. I'll just haul them around with me. All right. A leucine. Rather beat up with some barnacles. I think I see another sand dollar. I do. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm glad I got my little container to carry those around with. They would not survive in a, in a shell bag with those Florida fighting conchs, that's for sure. Yep, just a piece of a big old lightning whelk. Oh well. Keep looking. Oh, so pretty. Another sand dollar. Now these, I don't know if you caught my other video, I'll go ahead and I'll put a little link up there in the corner, but to clean these up, my new method is hydrogen peroxide. So that is a really safe way to clean these beautiful sand dollars up. What else did we find? Oh, looks like I'm digging. All right, hey, <laughs> you never know. Sometimes you end up with stuff that looks like that. Other times you can get some pretty good stuff. So, and then you see this and I'm like, what? And it doesn't look that bad <laughs> until you pick it up and you can kind of get a good look at it. So yeah, that's definitely rather beat up. So that is something I'll just take a look at and leave it where I found it. A piece of a banded tulip. It's been quite a while since I've managed to find a tulip or two, so hopefully today. Okay, broken lightning whelk. All right, so there's definitely stuff out here. Oh, there we go. There's a whole lightning whelk. All right, cool. Oh, I really like the pattern on that one. Oh, darn. Well, I would have kept it, but it's a little bit beat up on the other side. Well, let's take a look at this one. Let's see how this one looks. That's nice and clean. Oh, you know what though? I think I can take care of that. So the first one didn't pass the test, but that one did. I was really, yeah, I was hoping because it was just a piece, but here we have a pen shell. 
hoping for something a little more exciting. All right, another lightning whelk. All right, cool. Looks like we are definitely finding Florida fighting conks like this one and the lightning whelks. Oh, it's green, but you know what? I'm seeing some cool patterns on the top there, a lot of that zigzag, so I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna try to clean that up. And this one was just such a pretty color. It's kind of like a tangerine, yellow, orange, so I thought that was real pretty. Oh man, no, that's, no, I cannot resist that. No way, with that cool stripe with the patterns on it. Yep, I'm definitely taking that one too. We'll see how that one cleans up as well. There we go, oh, dang it. All right, well, okay, it's a banded tulip, a little bit beat up on the one side, but looks terrific if you hold it just so. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. So this is so fun, just kind of walking, seeing what you can kind of see. And of course your mind plays tricks on you, something that looks like fantastic, you pick it up and you're like, oh man, kind of like that. That looks like it had a run in with a boring sponge. Oh well, keep looking. Another Florida fighting cock. Oh, all right, I, that makes it a lot easier for me. It's broken, not keeping it. Keep it moving. So sometimes <laughs> I can convince myself to keep just about any shell, and I do have a soft spot for those Florida fighting conks. But when if it's if it's just too far gone, it's just too far gone. And now seems like a good time to maybe just relax and look at the view. It sure was a pretty morning. So we're still kind of hunting, looking for what we can find. Aw, that would have been a fantastic big old shark eye. Never find good ones that big. What else did I have? All right, a little lightning whelk. Eh, a little chip in it. Eh, all right, he's a little bit beat up. Probably won't hold on to that. Yeah. Another Florida finding conch, a little bit worse for wear. And another <laughs> good day for lightning whelks and Florida fighting cocks. You never know what you're going to find. All right, a little piece of a mussel. I definitely really, really fun. Just kind of checking out all the different things, turning it over, digging. Oh, yep, I saw a piece of some, oh, bummer. That to me looks like a big old core of a horse conch. Oh, well. All right, another floor. Oh, oh, that one's very pretty. Nice color, I like that white stripe along the front there. Oh, and an auger. Always check, make sure there's no critters in there, especially if you're shelling near the water. Looks like it's a keeper. Now, isn't that lovely? Florida fighting conch. All right, oh, there we go. Nice size lightning whelk. Fantastic. I love on the interior, you can kind of see some of those ridges. Oh, very pretty. And another Florida fighting conch. Oh, he is so cool. Got some stuff on it. Actually, it looks like he is only not really quite knobbed, that guy. I'm gonna show you one in a little bit. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, that is just a piece of a Florida fighting conch. All right, calico clam. Haven't seen one of those yet today. He's not in that greatest shape, so probably not gonna keep that. And there were some other tours. So we are literally on a sandbar. The only way to get over here is either if you kayak or take a boat over here. And there were some other tours going on. So there's just a few people, but for the most part had the place really, really to myself. It was kind of awesome. 
So at this point, I figure, all right, I really haven't spent a lot of time up on this, the land, up on the beach. So let's see what's up here. Hey, hey, hey. That is an Apple Murex. Fantastic find. What else we got? All right, a shark guy just sitting there. Wonderful. All right. Now, of course, I'm wondering, hmm, maybe I should have been spending some more time up here on the beach. All right, here is a banded tulip. A very, very, very beat up banded tulip. So we're not going to keep that. Right away, boom, another. All right, let's see. Is that a shark eye or a gaudy nautica? Actually can't quite tell. All right, there is another banded tulip. All right, very cool. A little chewed up, that's okay. Looks great from that side. And another Apple Murex, fantastic. And, all right, just the top of a tulip, all right. Left with that fantastic Apple Murex. So, all right, like I said, I'm pretty happy with what I'm finding up here on the beach. A lot of times, at least for me, I'm thinking, ah, every, you know, it's the easy, the low hanging fruit. It's the easy stuff for people to get. So that's why I kind of like being in the water, but never hurts to, to peek, right? A lot of times picking up one thing is going to lead you to something else. So I kind of like checking out as much as I can. Lots and lots of shells. Anything good? Oh, a top of a shark eye. Tricked me. You know, I had to peek at it. Had to at least take a peek. And, all right, so that is a gaudy nautica. A colorful moon snail. See a piece of his sand dollar. Another Apple Murex. Fantastic. I feel like there's definitely stuff up here, so I'm kind of taking my time. All right, a little beat up shark eye. All righty. Another gaudy, yep, another colorful moon snail. Oh, eh, he's an okay shape. I'm gonna hold on to it. Ooh, all right, a lettered olive. It's got a little bit of shine to it. Cool pattern. And a nutmeg. Terrific. Good old common nutmeg. Another lettered olive. I love to check out. First thing I do is check out and see if it's shiny. Then I'm kind of looking, see if there's kind of cool patterns, anything else kind of remarkable about it. A lightning whelk. Little olive and I was kind of, you know, when you see the light ones, you always hope to find a golden olive, but not yet. What about this one? Nope. Regular old lettered olive. Empty. Fantastic. Oh, I love this. This is my favorite when there's just, they're rolling around in the water there. There is another terrific apple murex. Awesome. What else are we going to find rolling around? Oh, I love it. Okay, a banded tulip. It's in great shape. Fantastic. So happy with my banded tulip. Okay, cool. Aw, look at this. That would have been really cool. That is the top of a horse conch. Oh, I don't have many of those like medium sized ones. I got my big one, a bunch of little ones. So maybe I'll add like a medium sized horse conch to my list of things to find. That is a gorgeous banded tulip. Beautiful, like the peach color. Oh, wonderful. All right, so now let's talk knobs. So I found this guy, and this is a Florida fighting conch, and there, it should really have a row of knobs, but it doesn't. Now take a peek at that one in the upper left corner. See how it has the knobs on that kind of like lower end? 
where the one, this brown one in the foreground there, he does not. So I just want to show you, kind of cool. Always something to appreciate with all these little shells. Now this beat up little guy, I believe is a chestnut laterus and I've only ever found one. So this would be the second one, even though it's all beat up. I'm gonna try to clean that up. And it looks, oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, another banded tulip. Yes, and it is not all beaten up. It's got a little tiny chip, but I think that that is beautiful. Very, very happy with that. Another, okay, a little chipped, but it's, let's take a look. Oh yeah, real pretty. Awesome, awesome banded tulip. Olive, yep, lettered olive. Oh, a big fat one, excellent. Oh, they're great. Big fat lettered olive, awesome. Starting to pick up a little bit now. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, that is also a banded tulip. Gorgeous peach color. Oh, so pretty. Oh, now I'm, yay, now I'm really getting excited. What else we got? All right, another terribly beat up Apple Murex. He's got all sorts of barnacles and just stuff. Yep, I'm gonna keep it anyway though. I know, call me kooky. Usually I wouldn't, but I don't know why. Just wanted to see how clean can I get that shell. All right, see something orange. Beautiful Florida fighting. Oh, look at that. Nope, could not leave that behind. Beautiful Florida fighting conch. Well, friends, at this point, our trip is not over, but we have been together a little over 21 minutes at this point. So I'm gonna save the rest of the trip for next week. But before we go, I wanted to give you a little preview of this awesome spiny jewel box I had found. Isn't it cool? I was so excited about that. And there are other shells that I'm also really excited about. So I do continue to shell. I will find a bunch of goodies. And real quick, right before we go, I wanted to show you how these guys cleaned up. Now, remember this guy, super green, but there was a pattern toward the top of it that I was really, really interested in. The green didn't bother me. I was pretty sure it would clean up okay. And so this is what it turned out. This is with some scrubbing soaking in 100% bleach, probably for about a day or two, and then a little bit of mineral oil. So that's how that really gross, slimy green shell turned out. Pretty happy with that. And then there was one other one that was also curious. This one was pretty beat up, but I really liked the pattern that was on it. So again, same process. It was a little bit of scrubbing, soaking in 100% bleach, and then a little bit of mineral oil. Now it didn't clean up as, yeah, it is what it is. It is a little bit beat up, but I really, really like the patterns on it anyway. So I took the effort and I am going to add that to my collection. So beach friends, thank you so very much for coming along with me. We will continue our shell tour next week. I will show you all the goodies, a final wrap up. If you have um, questions about the tour that I went on, check the description box below. I'll leave the information there. So thank you. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all your comments. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you again next Sunday.